What's up, YouTube? This is my off-season training plan. Dry land, fitness, workout, off-ice, practice, training, out of comp... Just watch the video. <laughs> First step in my training plan is to have a freezer full of food. Now, I'm not a good cook at all, so my mom came to visit me and little did she know, <laughs> I convinced her to cook all day with me and we just filled my freezer full of food. Check this out. Now, you might notice that I'm a little bit of a perfectionist, everything is labeled. The thing is, I was defrosting some food earlier that wasn't labeled, and I had no idea if it was gravy, spaghetti sauce, or soup. I just had to defrost it and hope for the best. Maybe I should get sponsored by a restaurant. Any takers? Welcome to my gym. So the next focus point is Olympic weightlifting. We're doing this to try to build as much muscle mass as we can in the summer months so that it can carry us through the curling season. Um, for those of you who don't know, uh, Olympic weightlifting is basically all those big heavy weights that you use uh, with the bar. Um, so we got squats, deadlifts, hang cleans, um, bench press. So this summer we're actually really fortunate. We have a team trainer working with us and she's really putting us through the ringer. We are trying to work on curling specific exercises throughout this summer. So for example, we're working on explosive power from our legs for when we push out of the hack. We have things like lat pull downs where we're trying to work our shoulders to uh, get better at sweeping. We have uh, a lot of core exercises like the plank so that um, we can develop really strong cores because you use that in everything, both in the delivery and in sweeping. And uh, then of course we have a lot of stability exercises because uh, we're trying to work on our balance for the delivery. So next up is cardio. Now curling is way more physically demanding than most people think and uh, so having a good cardio base is key. Now my front end spends a lot more time on interval training than I do. For me as a skip, having overall endurance helped me stay uh, both mentally and physically sharp during a long week of competition. So I run a 5K every week and I spend a lot of time on the bike. Right now, heading for a run. Switching gears a little bit, in the summer I find myself wanting to stay in that curling mode. So I actually watch quite a few of our games from the past season, trying to analyze the team, see what we did well, see what we can improve on, and also um, analyzing the opposition, see if we can learn anything from them. So there's nothing like watching a curling game on a Friday night instead of Netflix. <laughs> well that's my training plan, big days, a lot going on in preparation for the Olympic trials. But at the end of each day, I like to finish it off by reading a good book, maybe a sports psychology book, and then uh, hitting the hay. Good night, YouTube. I'm yeah, still recording. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, that's a wrap. <laughs> that's it. Yep.